Total War Warhammer 3 has a cooperative campaign mode with simultaneous turns. So both players can move their own characters at the same time on the big map, and then you can enter battle together and each control different units of soldiers in these amazing cinematic clashes. It's a great way to play with friends, but a good session might last a few hours, and it takes a friend who also has a few hours free to spend playing the game at the same time as you do. This can be a problem, especially if your gaming buddy has a short attention span, or they only like real-time battles but not the campaign or they're technically at work right now and shouldn't really be playing with you at all. A partial solution to all these problems is a co-pilot style co-op game. Essentially one player plays the campaign as normal but their co-op partner just remains completely passive on the campaign and simply just stands by waiting to assist the player in battles. The best lords to use for a co-pilot are lords that are sort of on the edge of the map, a little out of the way, and ideally that don't start off with a settlement at the start of the game, like Village, the Cursling. Just ignore your starting enemy and move to the edge of the map in ambush stance. Normally, you take attrition for having no settlement, but factions that start without a settlement at the start of the game are immune to no settlement attrition until they take their first settlement. So as long as you never settle anywhere, you don't have to worry. You can then just hide at the edge of the map in ambush stance and the AI won't know where you are. So they'll just essentially ignore you for the rest of the game. Your co-op partner can then just go on with their campaign as normal while you concentrate on another task, watch a movie, surf the web in a different tab or whatever. You don't really need to concentrate on the game, but you'll still want to remain in voice chat as your partner may need you to jump into a system with a battle occasionally. You also need to click end turn regularly and your partner may need you to click accept at various points as the game will sometimes prompt both players for a response. Another little advantage of co-piloting with Village is that you can use your Spawnify ability on turn one to grant your co-op partner three Chaos Spawn of Zeech. Zeech Spawn have barrier shields and will give your partner a big early game boost. One of the best parts of co-op is taking control of some of your partner's units to help them in their real-time tactical battles. Shogun 2 included an option for players to be able to drop into other players' games to replace their AI opponent in battles and go head-to-head. -head. I'd love it if they brought back this feature, but also allowed drop-in co-op partners for battles. That way, friends can meet up and be involved in your campaign here and there without having to commit to whole dozens of hours long marathon campaigns. It'd be great to have the option to give control of your faction to to the other player in case you have to step away from the keyboard to go to the bathroom, answer the door, or attend to some other chores. But in the meantime, I just thought this co-pilot style co-op could help out some people. If you've got a friend that you want to play with who only enjoys the battles, or they're quite new and aren't ready for campaign complexity, or, or they just aren't able to concentrate fully on the game, but you still really want to play together. If you've got any thoughts or comments about co-op in the game, you can post them in the comments section down below.